And for choosing us, I'm Brian McElhatton. After seven people were shot in five Fort Wayne shootings over the holiday weekend, police are looking for leads tonight. But what do investigators have so far? ABC 21's Corinne Rose leads us off. The amount of violence we've seen this weekend has really been sickening. Sergeant Sophia Rosales Scatina says this weekend's shooting death happened at a party of more than 100 young people in the 5200 block of Court in Court while the homeowner was out of town. As police were on their way to respond to calls of guns being seen and threats being made, they got word that someone had been shot. They found a young man on the ground who'd been shot in the chest and died at the hospital. Police say with all those witnesses, they have zero information from anyone who was there. So they want parents, especially of Snyder High School students, to sit their teens down and ask what happened. We need information because these kinds of things cannot continue to happen in this community. It, this could be your child next at their next party that they attend. So we really need to get a curb and we need to bring these people to justice so other people know that Things like this will not stand in our community. Late on the 4th of July on the southeast side of town in the 1900 block of Drexel Avenue, police say two groups of people were fighting. A man was shot in the head and someone driving him to the hospital flagged down officers for help. He was last listed in life-threatening condition. That one is particularly concerning because we had actual people at the crime scene cleaning up that crime scene before we got there. There we have witnesses um, that state that there were people actually picking up evidence from that scene. Uh, before we were able to arrive. Uh, so that's concerning in and of itself that some people would be so complicit in something like that. She says that scene was so chaotic with fireworks and gunfire going off nearby that extra officers had to be called in to stand guard while investigators collected what evidence remained. If you are complicit in hiding or aiding a criminal, we will charge you. That is, that's a guarantee. Um, we, we are not going to go down that path where we have people criminally involving themselves um, in investigations and not having to face any kind of consequences for that. She says detectives are looking for home security video about both shootings. Corinne Rose, ABC 21. And also this weekend, a young teen was hit by a stray bullet while she was on her porch and two adults and a child were shot at a party. None of those injuries were told were life threatening. But if you have a tip that can help police find a suspect, you can call detectives at this number 427 1201.